taller than this. So. That's all right. Hey guys, all right, so I have had so many requests to do a shorter hair tutorial, which I can't do because I have long hair on myself. So I decided to get my bestest friend Kate to be a hair model for me. And this is what we came up with. This is just, um, I would consider it my Jennifer Nettles inspired hair tutorial. If you don't know who she is, she is the lead singer of Sugarland. It's a country band. And yeah, so if you are interested in getting this look, then keep watching. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is put some product in her hair. She's about 50% dry here. I'm going to take, this is my favorite. It's Redken Velvet Gelatin, and it's just a cushioning blow-dry gel. I'm going to take about dime nickel size amount, really work it in my hands. And then I'm just gonna put this through her hair, focusing kind of on the ends. You don't wanna get it too close to the scalp because you don't want it to get greasy. And all this really does is just help smooth down the hair, get rid of frizz, add some shine. And then I'm gonna take a mousse. This is, um, it's a new product. It's by Matrix. It's the Design Pulse line and it's called Go Big. It's an extra strong hold mousse. You can use about maybe a golf ball size amount. And you really want to use a mousse when you're going to use a, using a curling iron on your hair, especially if your hair has a hard time curling. And I'm gonna put this on the roots and then work it out towards the ends. This will help give a lot of volume at the crown too. And what the mousse does is it'll just help hold the curl. If you try to curl your hair without putting anything on it, most of the time it's just going to fall flat. Or if it doesn't fall flat right away, it'll fall flat eventually. All right, so after I have that in, I'm just going to flip her head upside down and blow dry it out. All right, so I went ahead and got her all dry. And don't worry about using, you know, a round brush or anything like that when you're drying. I just flipped her over, used my fingers, used just a paddle brush at the end, you know, unless your hair is like super, super curly or something, and then you might need to, you know, help tame it out a little bit. But other than that, it should be fine. All right, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a setting spray. This is by Redken. It's Hot Sets, number 22. And I'm just going to spray this in a layer all over her head. So I'll just kind of lift up half of it, spray it. And this just acts as a setting spray for your curling iron. I'm just gonna brush through it. And for her curls today, I'm going to be using a, this is a one inch curling iron. This is by Fusion Tools. You can use a little bit bigger if you want, smaller if you want, it's just gonna vary up the curl. And I don't know if you can tell, she has kind of a, it's in between chin length and shoulder length bob. All right, and you can do these types of curls with longer hair, shorter hair, you know, this length, etc. All right, so of course, what I always do, you wanna section off the hair first. That way you have more control. So I am just gonna pull up, let me turn her. I'm just gonna pull up this top half of her hair. It doesn't have to be perfect, as you can tell, that's not really important. All right. So, sometimes if these layers are too short down here, what I do, instead of necessarily trying to curl them, I'll either just curl them under or kind of bump them up. So I'm gonna section this off one more time, because you can see how short these bottom layers are. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna curl these under slightly, because they're kind of too short to curl how I'm gonna curl the rest of it, but I still want it to have a little bit of a bend to it. All right, now for this next layer, this is where I'm gonna start doing the curl that I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna take a small section, this is probably a one inch section here. I'm gonna use the clamp, but I'm gonna leave about an inch of hair out at the bottom and roll it up. And the shorter your hair is, the worse your curls are gonna look at first. That's okay. 
And I'm not switching up directions or anything like that. You can if you want to. I'm just kind of doing it all in one direction. So there is your first layer. All right, so when I get that first layer done, I'm gonna spray it with hairspray. This is an aerosol. This is Performa by Matrix. It's a super hold hairspray. I'm gonna take down another layer. And the more hair you have, the more layers you're going to want to section off. Less hair you have, the less layers. So I'm gonna leave about an inch out, roll it up. And what leaving the bottom of the hair out does is it just gives it a more kind of beachy textured look than you know your super fussy tight curls. So you're just going to want to do the same thing all the way around. Okay, so I went ahead and curled up a few more layers of her hair, spraying it out with hairspray. And now what I do, when I get closer to the top, I start teasing the root at each layer. So instead of trying to tease it all when I get done and pulling out all the curl, I'm gonna do it layer by layer. So what I'll do is, I'll take this top section down All right, then what I'm gonna do is, okay, I'll take this section here. I'm just using a rat-tailed comb. I'm just going about an inch and a half or so up, and I'll tease this a few times. Don't worry about it looking too ratty because you're gonna cover all of this up with the top layers of hair anyway. So I'm gonna go ahead and curl a few of these. All right, so that's where we are now. Spray it with some hairspray. All right, let me show you what I'm kind of doing with the side here. I always curl everything away from the face. I just think it's more flattering than towards the face. So I'm gonna take this section that I haven't curled yet, tease it up at the roots. Now when you get this front section closer to the face, you don't wanna do as much teasing because you're, you, you will see that from the front. So I'm gonna take this section, same exact process. And I'm holding my curling iron vertical here, leaving about an inch and a half out, roll it up. And I'm gonna do that through this whole section. If your hair has a harder time curling, you can spray every individual layer with hairspray instead of just doing, you know, kind of all over like I did at first. So there we go, I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. All right, so I went ahead and worked all the way up her head. I just have this top layer left, which has a lot of her bang in it. And depending on how short your bang is, if you even have a bang at all, you might wanna just leave it straight or you can add some curl into it. I'm gonna add a little bit of curl so it incorporates in the whole look. But I'm gonna take this section and I'm gonna do just a little bit of teasing. And I promise you guys, if you try the teasing technique while you're working instead of at the end, it'll make it so much easier and you won't pull out all of that curl. All right, so I'm gonna grab, same thing, these top sections back here. Make sure you leave that end out. And you guys, like I always say, it all depends on your hair texture too. I mean, if you have super curly, frizzy hair, then you might need to smooth it down with a flat iron first before you curl it, otherwise your ends might be you know, super crazy. So you have to remember that, that all of these hair tutorials that I do, you know, kind of have to be adjusted depending on your hair type. All right, so I'm just working on these last sections here. Okay, now for her bang, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the outside of her bang, I'm not gonna curl it all the way into the root. I'm just gonna go about halfway down her hair strand and just do that bottom part. And then for her bang, I don't really need to go over it with a flat iron because you can see it's pretty smooth. So I'm just gonna flip my curling iron around and I'm gonna flip her bang up and out. 
and then work my fingers through it a little bit just to give it a little bit of a bend there. All right, so once I get her all curled out, I'm gonna take my hairspray and spray her all over like that. And then I'm gonna take the tail part of my comb and I'm just going to strip it down into her hair to kind of break up these curls a little bit. I'm also gonna use my fingers and shake it out because I don't want that really tight curl. I want it to be loose, textured, just really sassy. I sound like Christmas. I'm gonna tease her bang a little bit to kind of incorporate it into the rest of the hair here. And see, now you can tell, I really don't need to do any more um, teasing because I've done it all while I was doing it. So there, that's pretty much it. I wanna give it a big spray when I'm done. All right, and there we go. That is how I do the Jennifer Nettles inspired hair. Okay, so here, I thought this would be better so you guys can see it. I don't know how the angle was when it was on my station. All right, so here is a side view. Pull her around the back. Other side. Front. <laughs> 